Guys, go check out our Patreon where you can get our daily morning show and next week's episode today. Do you want to do the intro? Yep. All right, go kill it. <clears throat> Welcome back to the basement yard. It's Danny, and I'm not ugly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why are you saying this? Because Every everybody, like, an episode or two ago was saying, like, oh, man, Danny looks like shit. First of all, I just got finished working out. Okay. Wow. And that's why my hair was all frizzly, and that's why I had a headband on. And then I got right into the show. I'm multitasking in this quarantine because if I don't, I'm gonna become a fat jelly boy again. And then everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, weren't you that guy that was fat and then got skinny, then got fat, and then I'm gonna be like, yeah." So that's so that's where this is coming from. I didn't see any of these yeah. comments, by the way. Yeah, yeah, because you don't read comments because you're a psycho person who's immune to outside interference. No, it's a. <laughs> No, I just, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I read some comments. I don't just, like, go in depth and, like, you know, I'm not pages deep trying to find the one person that goes, Joe's gay, though. Oh, it, it would be great if it was one. <laughs> it was, like, if it was one, if it was one, I'd let it go. But there was so. I'd, I'd honestly let, they were like, oh, my God, Danny looks so sick. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A lot of people said you look like an ugly freak. Yeah, they were like, oh, Danny has corona. I was just like, yeah, I don't, first of all. ha, 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 ha. Yeah, funny All joke. Right. Funny joke. But yeah, welcome back to the basement welcome yard. Welcome back uh, to the basement yard, guys. Also, yeah, man. I will say this. One positive so far from um, the fucking the virus is that I'm starting to get like sick of social media. Oh, it's the worst. I barely open Instagram anymore. Like I'm like I don't even enjoy, like I I genuinely I think I hate it now. Like I'm just like, "Oh my god, enough of this." Because you were able to, like, turn it off and at least, like, go get a break. But now you can't get a break from it. So I, was, I feel like I'm starting to realize how stupid it is. Do you know how many times I've refreshed Instagram and just saw the same fucking photo? And now I just... A hundred times. I just hate everyone. I'm like, oh, this fucking guy again? Posting another story? Doing what? Making a smoothie? Yeah. Yeah. I just... Uh, for some reason, I think Instagram lives are going to help me. They don't. They don't. <laughs> They make me sad. That's another thing. Everyone and their mother is going on Instagram Live now. Yeah. And it's just like, uh, like the everyone. The other day, I had four or five people on Instagram Live at once on my feed, and I was just like, I'm, I'm deleting this. Yeah. It's kind of intense. Yeah. The thing that's getting this, the scariest thing is that now it's really starting to be like, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, Yo, what the fuck am I gonna do today? <laughs> I know, man. And even if it's like, yo, like, because we, me, me and you have been texting back and forth being like, yeah, like, you know, like, you know, read some books, like go outside for walks. It's like, yo, I'm doing all that and then I'm still fucking losing it. I saw the most beautifully sad thing yesterday. I went for a fucking long ass walk yesterday and I saw a little boy riding a tricycle with a face mask on. And I was like, wait, 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 is... like a, like a football helmet. Or like a doctor's mask. Doctor's oh. mask. A doctor's mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, damn, yo, that's mad protection for this little child. Yeah, if he had a, a, a actual Facebook, ma uh, Facebook, a face mask on, I'd be like, all right, got some stuff. He's, Kids got stuff. Yeah, major stuff if you got to wear all that. Major stuff. Major stuff. Biter, spitter, probably. Yes, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, one of those wild kids. Yeah. But yeah, I was like, oh, man, like these kids learn how to ride a tricycle. And just, like, riding his bike during a fucking pandemic. I was like, this is beautifully sad. And then I tried to buy a lobster roll from a main lobster cart. <laughs> Wait, what? Right after. The main, you know, the main lobster carts? No. Uh, they were driving around fucking Queens yesterday. Wait, there was a truck driving around selling lobster rolls. Yes. Main Lobster, I think, is the name of the company. I have never heard of this in my life. Yeah. So you tried and, was, and you failed? No, I tried and I was like, "Do you guys take Apple Pay? Because I'm not, I don't want to touch you because you're a disgusting freak." And, and then they were like, "Yeah, we take Apple Pay." Declined, declined, declined. And I was like, "Oh man, I finally spent all my money." Not the case. But then, <laughs> but then, I had somebody else try theirs and theirs didn't work either. So there was something going on at Maine Lobster, some kind of fucking weird, weird shit. Damn. Maybe you just and I got, you weren't meant to have that lobster roll, dog. I haven't stopped thinking about that lobster roll since about 4 p.m. yesterday. That's how bad it's been. Wow. That's what I'm thinking about. But you know how much real estate this lobster roll has in my head now? Clearly, it's got it's got a pretty good portion. Joe, I'm losing it. 
I'm at that point. Do you know what I did? I'm at I'm at that point. I've lost it. You know what I did? I don't even know what day it is. Yeah, I don't either. Actually, so I've been going to therapy via FaceTime lately, uh, and my therapist actually forgot our session. <laughs> oh, he forgot that you had one. He for he forgot. So yeah, but he uh. And then he he was like, oh my god, he's like, I'm forgetting like what day it is and everything. And I was like, dude, I get it because I don't really know. No, like I had to I set had an ther- alarm. Because yeah, it's fu- I had my therapist call me, and uh, he was check to check in, and I was like, what are you uh, what, what are you talking about? He was checking in with you. Yeah, he was checking in with me. I think he thinks I'm going crazy. He's fucking. But I was he's fucking like, right. And he's right. I was like, who is this? <laughs> what planet are you from? Yeah. But now it's like, yo, I, I look at people outside of my window walking around, and I don't know how to feel. What the fuck's that mean? Like, when I see them, I want to be like, ah, can't go inside. Well, like, I mean, I don't uh, I don't really have a, yeah, what was that? That was like a, <laughs> that was like one of the girliest uh, exhales I've ever, uh, uh, um, <laughs> no, but I, I've been going out, I've been running a lot, dude. You know how I ran I, I've, I've been running like crazy. Today, I'm going to go for a long-ass run. You want to come? No. We'll stand on opposite sides of the sidewalk. No. I'm going to say you no. Know, you, you, you get the guys. Maybe I'll show up. You get the guys. Yeah, you get the guys. What does that mean? We can, I don't know. It's I, I'm not coming. Yeah, I know. Uh, but I did. I, I rented a scooter yesterday and pretended it was a motorcycle. And Those uh, things are fast, right? Hell yeah, I was going 35 miles an hour down a hill at one point. Yeah, it's dope. And I was like, yo, I'm ben- uh, you know like in that scene in Benjamin Button when he's like driving down that fucking, so that beautiful road? So here's the th- and he's- I've never seen Benjamin Button. I just know that he's like living in reverse or whatever the fuck. All right, so he's at his peak hotness, right? Wait, what? how riding- old is he? He's like eight? Or he's like 40? No. How does it work? When he was born, he was like 87 years old. Yeah, it's cr- fucking disgusting. Yeah, so he reverts back to being a child. But when he's in the middle in the peak hotness, like peak hotness, uh-huh. he's riding a motorcycle one handed through like a fucking country road, and there's like leaves and beautiful shit. Yeah. Just, and then you add beautiful pit. And I was like, oh my God, this is me right now. And then I was like, nah, because I have a mask and gloves on, yeah. and I'm on a scooter. Yeah. But it was fun, though. Riding a scooter is really fun. And I wiped it all down so I didn't get icky gross from it. So it was nice. Oh, you brought like things. See, I was going to ride one of those because I did a long run the other day. And then I was so far from my my fucking apartment that I was like, I don't want to run back. Yeah. And I was going to find a scooter, but I was like, I don't want to put the helmet on, though. Don't put it on. You didn't put it on? I think you get a ticket for that. No one's giving you a ticket for that shit right now. I guess I don't know. I, was, I wouldn't pull. I wouldn't pull somebody over and have a close conversation with them because their helmet was off. Fuck that. I guess so. But you got to think about. You got. You got to really think about it. Yeah. Also, when when are we gonna be able to get haircuts again? When's that gonna be a thing? I don't know, but I've decided definitively that I'm not gonna do anything to my hair. Like if you see it right now, it's already like pretty. Like it's getting there for me. Like this is longer than usual. Yeah. And I'm just gonna let it go. And just see what happens. Let it go. Let it go. I don't want to be an event. Corona. Corona. Damn, dude. You should become an artist. I can't really hear because I'm not hearing my voice right now. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. I felt it, too. Did you feel it in your loins? Where are your loins, by the way? I think think it's your testicles. I thought loins were like like under your ribs. No, I think it's your fucking balls. Is it your balls? What? Yeah, your tender, your tender. <laughs> Why did I just say that like a Staten Island <laughs> single mom? Your balls? Is that your fucking boys? Is that your fucking boys? You know what the best thing about this uh, Corona? Well, there's nothing great about yeah. it. Yeah. Is that there's become like so? I love news that happens inside of coronavirus that doesn't have to do with coronavirus. Oh. Because it's like, oh, man, it's like, oh, it's a break. But sadly, they're usually fucking tragedies. Mm -hmm. Like, there's really no good news. Um, I was reading this thing uh, about how, first of all, I wanted to say the Kennedy family is cursed. They've had a rough go. 
they've had a rough go. You know, a couple people have disappeared. You, a couple people got, you know, blicky. Oh. Yeah, it gets you know what I'm slapped yeah, up. Yeah. But with the sticky. Yeah. <laughs> Did you do you know any Kennedys? No. I knew a girl. I'm not an actual Ken. Her last name was Kennedy. I went to high school with her, but she had a snaggle tooth. Please tell me she's dead. You just said. Did you? <laughs> did you just I say? Meant to, <laughs> please tell me she's dead. I meant. I meant to say. Please tell me she's still alive. Said, is what I meant to say. Please tell me she's dead. <laughs> like you're the one's been taking out all these kidneys. Oh, just please tell me she's dead, so I don't have to fucking, work the night shift tonight. <laughs> my fucking Steve Buscemi and fucking Billy Madison. <laughs> Do me what? Scooby do me what? Do me what? Do me what? Do me No, but please, t- please, please tell me she's still alive. Uh, yeah, she's still alive. I just fucking jinxed the shit out of her. I'm sorry. God, that was. <laughs> please tell me she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, she's uh, she's kicking still. To my knowledge, I haven't talked to her in a decade. So. Okay. All right. Well, you never know. God bless. I mean, you do never but, know. But. One of the Kennedys, I think a granddaughter or something, mm-hmm. was in a was in a canoe with her eight year old son. Disappeared. I feel like it's hard to disappear in a canoe. That's what I'm saying. I could keep up with a canoe on foot, yeah. unless it's one of those fucking white water fucking raft ones. <laughs> no, yeah, none of that. Can't have an eight year old in a canoe like that. No, no, no. I no, would no. never trust an eight year old in my canoe anyway. I mean, they flip very easily, and they're you yeah, know they're. they're Especially in this day and age, instant gratification, iPhones and whatnot. Like, this kid's going to be fidgeting. I'm like, yeah, listen, Tommy, don't fucking move. Because you're going to yeah, flip yeah, us. Yeah. But they're, they're both dead. But Are they uh, confirmed dead? Or are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're confirmed dead. They're dead. Wow. Um, I'm going to look it up. Yeah, but, like, I, this family has to be cursed. Yeah, it's kind of, it's just crazy. It's just eerie. And then didn't one of them, like, overdose recently, too? I don't, I don't know. Yes, I think they did. They were on a canoeing trip or some shit. Why are they on a canoe in the middle of a pandemic? Didn't want to be the first one to say it. Stay the fuck in the house. But also, uh, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's strange that like. First of all, if I'm a Kennedy and it's a pandemic, I'm not going outside anyway because I know the track history. Dude, it's so fucked up, man. This fucking guy's got three other kids. Yeah, fuck it sucks. Stay the fuck in the house, yo. You don't need to go canoeing and shit. What are you going to do out there? Yeah, man. It's really not time for, for a canoe. Or white water rafting. Or a... Uh, who, wants, who wants to do that? Or like a... Who wants to get a big paddle and just go... <laughs> it's actually kind of like therapeutic. I mean, on... It, oh, my God. It's the whitest answer I've ever heard. I'm a... Look at me. I'm white as snow. That's therapeutic, being scared for your life and bashing a stick up against a rock? I'm not talking about whitewater rafting. I'm talking about a nice, gentle canoeing. Oh, I thought you were talking about whitewater rafting no. fighting like the, like fighting rapids, you fucking white bitch. No, what am I fucking... What's his name? Rambo? I'm out there trying, <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> no. Remember Dave Batista? <laughs> Do I remember Dave Batista? <laughs> yeah. Uh but yeah, I I um I wouldn't have gone canoeing in this uh I'd be I'd be too afraid. I'd be a little afraid to hit the new. Yes. What's the other one called? It's not a canoe kayak. Yes, that's the one. That one I've done numerous times and it's a lot of fun. Kayaking is super nice. But it's also a little scary because your legs are like all the way in it. And you're like, if I flip this, I got to like kind of get out. Yeah. And if I have a seatbelt on sort of thing, it's kind of freaky, man. Go no belt. Yeah, it's kind of freaky, but. Go no belt, go no helmet, kids. That's how it works. In, these, in this day and age, yes, you're going to have yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, but I, you... I got sent a care package from some company. And it's like healthy candy, basically. It's just candy without sugar. It, it's like it has a bunch of dietary fiber, but it's not as bad as regular candy. And uh, we're we're doing the ads already. No, no, no. I'll tell you this though. These fucking vegan nerds got something right because these are good. All right, it's like a pseudo Starburst kind of thing. And I'll be honest, when I unwrapped it, I'm like, this looks like shit. 
Kids at home, that's how you make $5,000. No. <laughs> okay. You sneak it in there. I, no, no, no. Now, I, I guarantee you. What? I want, I guarantee you this company reaches out to you now. I haven't said the name of the company. Say it. No. No. <laughs> I dare you to say it. I dare you to get that bottle as deep as you can in your mouth right now. Oh my god, dude. Talk to me nice. Yeah, dude. Can we pause this? I gotta, ah, I gotta go jerk ah, off. Ah, that was impressive. I, I'll, be, I'll be honest. I impressed myself. Do you not have a gag reflex? No, I don't. Oh, mine is just is just pathetic. I was one of those people that could drink water like a spray bottle without closing their mouth. I could just go, I can't, uh, I, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that, dude. If, when I brush my teeth and I'm not even brushing my tongue. If I touch my tongue with my toothbrush, I'm like, oh, oh, oh. it's pathetic. Yeah, it gets me like that. You have to relax your tongue. That's your problem. You're, you're, you're making your tongue too now, hard. My tongue is stressed out, dude. <laughs> I cannot relax in here. Uh, you gotta just get in I think there. You're stiff as a board. I'm telling you. I, I honestly don't like. I think it's not an official toothbrushing unless you almost vomit all over yourself. I don't really gag when I brush my teeth because I try to stay away from the back, the the back shelf here. Yeah. Cause, yeah. Because yeah, once yeah. I hit that button, I'll just, I'm just like. <laughs> you, have you have you ever pulled the trigger before? No, dude. I'm afraid. It's awesome. I bet it is because I, I I do enjoy the feeling after you throw up, and I'm like, oh yeah. yeah. But I just you know I can't get it. Have you had any like? Also, you uh, throw up all over your hand. Ugh. No, no, no. You pull it out before. Before. <laughs> before. Your boys. Before. <laughs> was before. Before your boys. Before you watch, I'll tell you this right now. Yeah. There's two times I've successfully pulled the trigger. Once I was insanely drunk and it was at a wedding, and and I and I walked I walked off into the woods and I did it and what? I can't. <laughs> okay. Literally after a game of flip cup, we were you know like sometimes when you do like half cup flip cup like just like there was a like wedding flip. with flip cup in the middle of the woods. This was after party, after party. Okay, after party. this is wider than white water rafting. Yeah. So I did it. I was anchored. Yeah! You know when you're like fucked up and everyone's like, let's go! And you're just like, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, yeah, yes. And then, and then I like, they're like, let's go again. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I walk into the, into the woods puked everywhere. Yeah. And I was just like, I was like, it needs to come out. So I just hit it with the one like, ha, ha, ha. And then it came out. Nice. And I came back, and everyone was like, yo, you're all right? I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm good. Like, let's go. They're like, yo, sh- are you are sure? Like, you good? And I'm like, yeah, dude. They're like, yo, look at your shirt. I didn't realize I threw up all over myself. <laughs> dude, are you good? Yeah, I'm straight. Well, why? Because you're yeah. covered in vomit. <laughs> I was in a suit jacket and a fucking white button-down shirt. And I threw up all over myself. The initial one, it was going back to what you were doing when it happened. I think it hit my hand this way. Yeah. And, went, and just bounced back. And th- but the rest hit the floor. That's so gross, dude. Yeah. And then I, 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 and then I took my shirt off and just wore a suit jacket the rest of the, the party. Jesus. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a s- disgustingly savage thing. And then one time at a football game, my coach told me to do it. So you did it? I've thrown up at yeah, football practice, but I didn't pull the trigger. I just had to throw up. No, I, I was nervous. I was nervous. It was a it was a sectional uh, semifinal game, whatever, for like the county. And I was like, yo, I'm really nervous. And my coach was like, yo, just pull the trigger. And this is before I really knew what pulling the trigger was. It was just bulimia back then. That's that's the only thing I knew. Back in our day. There's no, Yeah, back in our day mm-hmm. when we just, you know, we knew nothing of the such. And uh, he was like, yeah, stick your finger down your throat till you throw up. And I looked at him, and I was like, that's bulimic. <laughs> and then he was like, yo, it's not bulimic. It's going to help get the nerves out of you. And, I, and it actually worked. Does it? Yes. That just seems like an old. Don't make yourself throw up. But it, it helped me All with right. my nerves. 
But that's crazy because I would think that like, what the fuck? <laughs> what happened? I just turned. I'm looking at my screen where I have like the the sponsors for later. There's a picture of Meghan Markle and fucking Prince Harry out of nowhere. What the fuck is this? <laughs> What's their story? Are they just not like like people anymore. Yo, Meghan Markle and <laughs> Prince Harry, weird people. They're like, listen, we have everything. We just. I didn't know you could be like, yo, I'm a prince, but. I don't want to be a prince. I'm done princing. How can you finish princing? Can he come back? Can he just become a prince whenever he wants again? I don't know if you can Brexit from the fucking royal family and then just sneak your way back in when the money gets, you know, cut up on the table. Damn, dude. Motherfucker using big ass words and shit. Well, the Brexit is not. It's just, you know. That's probably an insensitive thing to say, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't need, I, I wish I knew what Brexit meant. It's when you brush your teeth so hard that your gums bleed. Oh, oh, you're you're anabrexic. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, it's a, it's a hybrid. Yes, it's a one of those. This is going to be, this is a very dumb question. Can you be anorexic and bulimic at the same time? I just answered my question. I, I don't know. <laughs> I would, uh, I, that might, I'm not trying to be me. I just, I don't know. I can see how those things would go hand in hand. Cause if you are bulimic for an extended period of time, one could assume that I don't know. <laughs> didn't you, didn't you guys do an OPL with somebody that was bulimic once? Uh, someone who was uh, pro anorexia and I lost it on them. Did you really? Yeah. They were pro anorexic. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah. So I mean, on other people's lives, the other podcast I do, my buddy Greg, we we did an episode where this girl ran a like pro anorexia blog, and it was a, basically about like how she was. She loved the idea of being super thin. She thought it was like beautiful or whatever. So she, so she would push this anorexia thing on people and and like she's like here's my story and blah 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 but then you know whatever but i think like because which i I, from what i remember it was a little while ago so you would have to go back to find the episode she said something like she put up a post that was kind of like a joke about being pro anorexia and it got so much likes and attention that she just continued doing this thing which to me just sounds like you tried to Fill this character because it was bringing you attention. She became like the uh, the gun girl of anorexia. Basically, yeah. yeah. Didn't that girl shit her pants? Yeah, I think so. That's great. Yeah, everybody hates that girl. Dude, think about this, right? The most important and influential woman in the world who she could have won 10 Nobel Peace Prizes. Or I'll say this. It doesn't even have to be a woman. It could be anyone, right? Just the most whatever albert einstein gandhi whoever you want these these amazing people if they shit their pants that would be the only thing that i would remember them by (laughs) yep she's like yo oh my god gandhi did the hunger thing (laughs) just such (laughs) but he shit his pants dude do you remember that and she'd be like, yeah, but wasn't that the guy that shit his pants? Dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, t- sorry, I'll, sorry. I'll even go as far to say this. If Jesus shit his pants up on that cross, we'd all be, it would it would be hilarious. Technically, Jesus probably did shit his pants because when you die, you shit your pants. I don't even know if that's true. I gotta look yeah, that you, up. Yes, you release your bowels when you die. So if Jesus were to die on the cross, he probably pee-peed and poo-pooed a little bit. I think I'm right about this. Maybe. Release bowels upon death. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what to. I don't know what to Google. I don't want to spend too much time. It's, it's Palm Sunday, by the way. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Poop Sunday, more like. <laughs> ah. Ah. Nah, nah. Me, me and JC, we're cool. So don't worry about it. It's. Uh, yeah. No. Probably an no, offensive Jesus? thing to say, but I'm just saying, if you shit his pants up there. This is gonna come out on Easter Sunday. Oh my god! Just so you know, happy Easter, everybody. <laughs> I didn't Jesus know. shit his Jesus shit himself on the cross. Uh, happy Easter, and we're gonna hear about this one. Yeah, probably, probably, probably. Yeah, Yo, you, you know who I'm gonna Jesus... hear about it from? Like my mom. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She's gonna lose you, it. 
So Jesus was a man, right? Yeah. And Jesus definitely got boners. This house, like, he probably had morning wood, right? Do you think he ever used, like, magic to make his boner go down? <laughs> Did you just say magic? Yeah, Jesus was a magician, too. <laughs> Shitty carpenter. Great magician. Wait, he wasn't a carpenter. His dad was a carpenter. No, Jesus was a carpenter. I thought Joseph was the carpenter. Jesus' dad is God, Joe. Somewhat. <laughs> How far? <laughs> no. How far back do we gotta go with this family? All right. Well, here? Joseph is his stepdad or whatever. <laughs> his stand-in pops. Jesus was a carpenter. Somebody was good with working with. It was a wood maker. A wood. You want a uh, something? Lumberjack. You want to know? What, yeah. Well, well, it wasn't having sex. Is that ain't Joseph's kid? Yeah. So he he wasn't good at that. The OG cook. The OG, the OG cuck. Um, I, do we know at what point the Easter Bunny became a thing? Was that created by, like, people that weren't Catholic? To, like, have, like, a... But, like, I don't know what happened there. Did you just add an extra... Did you say Catholic? Catholic? That's like me and cockroach. Cockroach. Catholic. Catholic. Ca- Catholic. Catholic. <laughs> Cath- Catholic. T- There's an O in there. A Catholic sounds delicious right now. Like a frozen ice oh. pop Catholic. Have you had the t- Catholic flavor of Talenti? It's fantastic. Oh my god, dude! When I go to when I go to Mr. Softy, kids are carrying ice cream. Oh, let me get the SpongeBob. I get the Catholic. Two scoops of Catholic. <laughs> it is unbelievable. It's f- <laughs> the Catholic. But who? But oh, Liquor Catholic- Colors. You remember those? Yeah, I do. Dude. Also, who licks a Liquor Color? I'm biting through these fucking layers, dog. Get me to this wooden fucking stick with a horrible joke on it now. Bro, I had Talenti last night, and it was gelato layers. When I tell you that this thing was fucking out of fucking troll, it was insane. <laughs> it was so good. Oh, I love Talenti, dude. Yeah. I know, man. Oh, my God. I just got lightheaded. <laughs> Love ice cream. He's gonna. Are you gonna pass out? You're gonna, yeah, for a sec. You're gonna pull the you trigger. Know se- you know, for a second when your head just goes walk up, walk up. Yeah. I was like, oh shit, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> like when I. <laughs> you see how excited I just got over fucking ice cream? This is why other countries hate us. Yeah, man. Yeah. I almost passed out from loving ice cream too much. <laughs> what? That's what the, that, that was the reality of today. Uh, is that I almost passed out from loving ice cream. We're going down. But I want to. But I want to know though. I really want to know what was it. What's the Easter Bunny's deal? Where did he come from? Like, who who manifested this? And then why do Catholics celebrate uh, the Easter Bunny and shit when it should be about Jesus? Well, none of these things are about Jesus. So let's get that out of the way. They were nah, there's an under- Easter Easter Mass. <clears throat> Easter Mass is all about Jesus. What I'm saying is like Easter, when people go Easter, they don't go Christ is risen. They go, Where's my fucking jelly beans? That's my point. That's true. Right? And, That's and true. also the fact and we, and- that a giant rabbit yeah. is gonna waltz his way in here and just leave jelly beans and hide eggs throughout the house that have oh. Eight dollars in them. Did anyone even try with this? Like Santa Claus, that seems like a well put together, you know, Ponzi scheme right, there. Right, right, you know? right, right. But the Easter Bunny, this, this, Great guy. this never had a shot. And I spore, I spilled water all over my fucking. Thing. Ah! Quick, we actually, we actually, I thought he spilled something before we started recording the episode. Oh, son of a bitch! And he was like. He's like, I didn't spill anything. That was now he spilled Jesus it. Jesus did that. I'm sorry. Yeah, Jesus. Jesus just told you to shut the fuck Got up. Got me back. Yeah, Got he just back. turned your he just turned your keyboard from water into garbage. That's what he did. <laughs> uh, no, but but, oh! that's, but but your cell phone. No, it's the Zoom. No, cards. Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> She's drowning. I don't know, my mom. I hope they work still. Yo, if your mom needed mouth to mouth, would you do it? Good God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. This kid is a freak. 
you would never forget that. It's it's almost like if somebody shit their pants, it's like, yo, I had to give my mom. Obviously, you're gonna give your mom mouth to mouth to save her life. Yeah, dude. I'm not gonna be like, oh, <laughs> nah, or like, <laughs> your dad. Oh, uh, gay. <laughs> Your dad needs mouth to mouth. It's like, oh, this is so gay, though. Just die, man. I, yep. I can't be gay. Here's the thing, though. Is is your group of friends would never let you live that down. They'd be like, yo, this fucking guy gave his own dad mouth to mouth. Just wait for the paramedics, bro. What the fuck are you doing? It's like, guys, I won an Oscar. Yeah, that's great. Go kiss your dad again, dude. <laughs> fucking gay. You're going to thank your dad and kiss him that time? He was... <laughs> Yo, Joe, listen, yo, Joe, one time he kissed his dad. Fucking made out with his dad. He put tongue in it. I saw it. <laughs> he made out with his dad in his sleep. <laughs> uh, my, my dad was having a stroke. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Still, whatever, still, homo. <laughs> you fucking gay bastard. Guy was trying to take a nap. Joe's over here tonguing him down. Talking about a stroke. Yeah. He was trying to oh. stroke his dad. <laughs> I got problems. Go kiss your dad. How about that? <laughs> fucking God. I'm going to take advice from somebody who kisses their fucking dad. Get out of here. Uh, I'm fucking believing. But, I hope all this stuff works. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it now, though, because it's not going to. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can't even get to the fucking ads. The sponsors. Uh, or can I? We'll find out, folks. Find out next time on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. All right, hold on. Let's get to the ads before I start spilling more shit everywhere. Um, Spill it, babe. Spill it, baby. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh. First, uh, we have Simply Safe, which has, uh, you know, Simply Safe is a home security system. All right, you order it online, you set it up yourself in under an hour, and your home is protected 24 7 with emergency dispatch for break ins, fire, and more, all for just 50 cents. A day, so very cheap, um, and they have a bunch of different things like uh, glass break sensors. There's motion sensors. There's cameras. Um, so definitely go check out Simply Safe. Um, actually, there was a, a World Report named Simply uh, named Simply Safe Best Overall Home Security of 2020. And right now, when you head to simplysafe.com/basement, our listeners will get a 60-day trial, uh, risk-free. And that is simplysafe.com slash basement uh, to make sure that all your stuff is safe. Again, that is simplysafe.com slash basement. Uh, next, we have BetterHelp, which is online counseling. Um, you can connect with a counselor in a safe and private online environment. You can talk to them on the phone, FaceTime, text, um, and usually they set you up in uh, under 24 hours. You can start communicating with your therapist. If you don't like them, it's not um, doesn't cost any money to switch over to someone else. Um, and they deal with licensed professionals who deal with depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, sleeping, trauma, a bunch of different things. So definitely go check them out if you're looking for some counseling, um, especially in this time where we're kind of stuck inside. Uh, you can definitely talk to people, text, chat, phone, or video. Um, but yeah, 10% uh, off your first month with the discount code YARD. So go to betterhelp.com and the... Uh, betterhelp.com slash yard for 10% off of your first month. Again, that is betterhelp.com slash yard. Um, and finally, we have Native, uh, which is deodorant uh, formulated without aluminum, parabens, or talc. Uh, it's vegan. It's never tested on animals and anything or anything, or, or anything like that. Uh, and, <clears throat> yeah, I have uh, Native. That's all I use now. I smell like lavender. I smell like vanilla. I smell great. Okay. I smell so good. You want to eat me is what I'm trying to say. Okay. And it's all vegan. It's all got, it's all free of all the bad shit that you can have in uh, deodorant or soap or whatever. I have the soap and the deodorant by the way. Um, but you for, for 20% off of your purchase, visit native deodorant.com slash basement. Again, that is 20% off your first order by going to nav native deodorant.com slash basement okay if you're going to be putting some on your body you'll feel a lot better knowing that there isn't harmful ingredients in it okay so go check out native again that is native.com uh native deodorant.com slash basement for 20 percent off okay so there you go kids um all right where is he where's the big guy oh back in town i had to put something in my stomach Excuse me? 
I had to put something in my stomach. Yo, I have these Ritz crackers that are garlic butter flavored. Oh, oh my God. Oh, so good. good. They make you want to kiss your dad. <laughs> can you Google Can you Google what year the Easter Bunny was created? <laughs> what? Oh, wait. You don't have a keyboard. <laughs> I don't have a keyboard. I don't. I hope it works, yo. Fuck me. I spooled it all over it, man. It'll work. Yeah, I mean, the button for caps lock is still working, so. I just don't want to get shocked. Oh, God. This thing's fucked, though. It's definitely not going to work. I'm going to have to order a new one. So rich. <sighs> so rich. So covered in water. Yo, you, you talk about flu- Are you on TikTok, by the way? Yeah, I got 11,000 followers, though. Ooh. Uh, I'm a savage. Ratchet, bougie, ratchet. Act it. What's going on? You know what I'm saying? That's I like, TikTok. I like the TikToks when it's like, they, pe- they say people who are white are ugly. <laughs> Guess not. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I love that. It's like, oh, and it's like <laughs> just random quotes are on the screen. It's like, I don't really like Indian guys. Indian guys stink. This guy did it. And then he's just like, I'm hot. <laughs> it's like a hot Indian dude. Just like, what's popping? <laughs> I saw a funny, I saw a funny ass one with a dude. It's like, people say deaf guys aren't hot. <laughs> and he misses the musical drop. Oh my God. So it's, so it's like, so it's like, what's popping? And he's like, <laughs> is it a joke or is it real? It's a joke. Is he deaf? It's a joke. I think he's deaf. That's kind of dope. I can I can't confirm. We talked about this. I'd rather be deaf than blind, right? Oh yeah, big time. I'd rather be deaf. Yeah, being blind sucks. It's not great. Also, Braille, Hal. Yeah. This is, a, this is a mess of bumps. This is messy bumps. Yeah, I don't know how people read Braille. And then what if you date somebody with a pimply face and it's like, ha, ha, like your face says, like, chores. Chores. <laughs> <laughs> Can you pop the pimples in my bag? <laughs> oh, you mean chores? Yeah. Uh, oh, I thought I was reading uh, my work for today. I thought I was reading my calendar. Chores. This is mad random. <laughs> chores. Oh my god! You ever you ever see those things um, on the internet where it's like these white people that just get uh, like Korean tattoos or something? But it, and it and it'll be like, oh, this means like golden shark, <laughs> but it actually just means like spaghetti or some shit. Yeah, It'd be like Eter- eternal eternal wanderer. It's like, dude, this means ass crap. <laughs> ass crap. Yeah, I love that. ass chores. I would never. I guess washing your ass is an ass chore. Yeah. I've been washing my ass like crazy lately. Hell yeah. Have you had any symptoms that you thought maybe, oh my God, maybe I got this? Um, not really. Like the first run that I went on, I, I had like a lot of phlegm and I kept spitting. <laughs> but I was like, <laughs> I like... I, Were you doing that? No, I wasn't wheezing, but like I couldn't, I couldn't really breathe. But I think that's just from not being out of shape. Yeah. So that's why. But there's nothing worse when you get to that part of the run where it's like, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you never got to that part of the run. No, I don't wheeze. It's the worst. I just yell. Like when I get really tired, I just go ah ah, and then I, yeah, that's what I Wait, do. You sc- you scream at yourself. I scream on the street. Yes. Why? I I don't I don't know. I just I just I don't know. Like are you running just being like ha? Ah! Are you like yeah? Like that. Yeah, I don't say yeah, I just make noises. But I can't hear it cuz I'm wearing headphones blasting music. I rode that scooter with my headphones on and if I smacked myself twice in the left ear, my Siri would work. Really? Yeah, so I was just going play Meek Mill. I'm just like, playing Meek Mill. So I was just riding around, slap myself. I'll be riding through my 
fucking getting crazy. <laughs> I, I stood up on it. <laughs> That's great. I did. Yeah, I stood up on it. I texted Joe to come out on his back porch because I was going to show him my cool bike tricks. Yeah. Where I stand up on a scooter and then jump down. But uh, Joe uh, drank himself into a slumber yesterday. Yep. Um, which was relatively early. How do you feel today? I feel fine. I mean, I, I feel good. I slept until 1030. I haven't done that in a decade. Yeah. So there's that. But no, yesterday there was, uh, like they've been, they've been doing, it's like this weekend they're doing an EDM concert with like all these fucking DJs, but they're doing it from yeah. their houses and they're live streaming it on YouTube and they're raising money for like the, the COVID-19 relief or whatever. Um, mm. And a couple of my friends are honestly way too into it. Yeah. Dude, literally before we started this, because like, it's going on now, um, Eric wrote in the chat, <laughs> but by the way, it's people in their living room playing the songs, right? There's nothing else going on. And Eric's like, oh my God, this is a murder. This is jail time. And I was like, what? I'm like, it's a DJ, man. <laughs> and he's pressing a butt. I want to read it because it's. He was that impressed by this guy on his couch? Dude, at some point yesterday, he goes, he said, bro, this is called a murder. This is a jail sentence for life. <laughs> like like implying that, implying that it was like that fire. Not that there had been a crime committed. It's just that this guy is playing the song so well that he deserves uh, to be jailed for his entire life. <laughs> yeah. And this is and this is it. That's uh, that's them on Zoom. And then and then these are the guys just playing it. That was that's it. Hey, listen, whoever created Zoom, good for you. Yeah, they're they're making out like bandits right now. They're probably enjoying the fact that there's, this thing is like going well into the winter. Whoever owns Zoom is like, hey, we got it. Yeah. We got one. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. Have you have you done any Zoom? Yeah, yeah. Me and Frankie use Zoom for the Stank. She plug go uh, YouTube.com and watch Stank podcast. Uh and I've done some Zoom with some homies. Have you I've zoomed? I've zoomed with the homes. You've zoomed with the homes. Have you zoomed uh, with the homes? Yeah, I did a Zoom yesterday, but I was playing like drinking games like outside because it was like nice out. I have the Good the out. boxing mitts, so I oh, so yeah. I did some get out, get out, get out. so I did some drills in the morning, like five six rounds, and then I went for a run, and then I got Jeez. back. What are you in fucking training camp? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Yeah, uh, today I'm gonna try and do a, a, a long run. Yeah, what are you taking the camp up to fucking Big Bear next week? What the fuck's going oh, on? Man. Over here? That would be so awesome. I'm gonna try and go for I'll a long one today. Um, Queens is fucking crazy. What do you mean? It's just the epicenter of sickness. Yeah, yeah. It's wild out here. Yeah, a lot of people have reached out to me and been like, "Yo, are you good? I'm seeing Queens like in the news, and it's not great." And I was like, "Yeah, no, it's not." Dude, because I saw Francesca was like, "People are dying in Queens." <laughs> okay, all right, okay, okay. And I was just like, uh, "Yeah, okay." All right, back after this, make man. Here's the make man. <laughs> but I was just like, "Yo, like, this is fucking crazy, yo." Like, yo, my sister works in a hospital. They've converted the, the um. The fucking restaurant area into beds. Yeah. It's crazy, man. It's crazy that people didn't think this was going to be a big deal. Just saying, God. Um, but, like, you know what I'm saying? This is way bigger than I, I, I ever thought it would be. No, I, I mean, once... Now we're, start, now we're starting to know people that know people that died. Yeah, I know a few people that have died. It's crazy. Also, another sad thing I thought about, like, you can't even have, like, a funeral in this time. No, I think they have to cremate all the bodies. Really? Mm-hmm. I believe so. I heard that, like, the, the crematories are, like, backed up. Wow. Yeah. Dude, it's a, it's a weird time 
that we're living through right now. It's crazy. So strange. You ever? I still wake up and I'm like, yo, this is fucking crazy. Yeah. I will say this though, right? Because I don't want to go down the dark path. The light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it back. Bring us back. Bring baby. us back. Bring us back. Fart shit piss. Yes. Yeah. Poopy. <laughs> Farting. Kissing your dad. <laughs> Farting out of your butt. Oh, wait. I need to tell you something about kissing my dad. Yes. <laughs> this is okay. This is a real thing. So my dad used, used to do this thing, um, pow. <laughs> so listen, when we were kids, he used to kiss us on the mouth. Okay. But he, Tom brady he, he, right. he used to go like this. Mmm. On our okay. lips. How old are you? 16. No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. Like, like 27. Like, I don't know. That was the last time I saw him. I don't know. No, but we were young. We were like kids. But he used to umpal us all the time. Okay. And at the time, you know, I had a little face because I was a little kid. My dad's a big dude. He's got big, he's got big face. Yeah, big face man. So when he was mmming us, right? Like, mmm, uh-huh. small lips, everything's fine. But when you throw in a pow, 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 there's some debris, some, some debris <laughs> that flies all over your face. And what I'm trying to say is my dad was spitting in my face for a good portion of my life. Remember, like, those Maxwell audio commercials where the guy would sit in the chair and he would, like, blow everything in his apartment back because he was listening to, like, really loud music? That's probably what it was like for you. It was. It was intense. And Yep. And no one's going to get that reference. Yeah, no. But also, peop- I was getting umpowed. So. Yeah. Well, gay, no? Uh, I would say a lot of gay. <laughs> the guy was umpowing his fucking sons. All three of them! Yeah. That's a three umpows? Yeah, I, I really got a bone to pick with Keith. I don't know what Keith's deal is. I'll never figure this man out. All right, so this is what happened yesterday. This should be good. I was I was riding around on my scooter, feeling all types of cool, and I tried to get in contact with Joe. No answer. It's whatever. And then I'm just like, Keith, I text him. I go, yo, what's up? Are you home? No answer. I'm still riding around, so uh, Vin and... Keith come outside So I get to see them And they're like Yo what's up Like this that and the third I texted Keith at 6.15 He saw me after <laughs> Read my text from 6.15 And goes Yeah I'm home What's up Sent it to me at 9.45 at night <laughs> he was, What the fuck He was delirious yesterday he woke up. Oh, he, he he like because we were all drinking. We were playing drinking games and like it was. Ah, okay. So he was all like whatever, and then he fell asleep in the middle of watching Twenty One Bridges, which was a, it was a pretty good movie. Uh, wait, who's in that again? Fucking what's his name? God. Uh, Bozeman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chadwick. Yeah, Chadwick. Yeah. I was gonna say Chase, uh, but. So he fell asleep, and my sister, we wanted to play a card game. So my sister's like, Keith, do you want to play Apples to Apples? And he wakes up, and he goes, <laughs> he just wakes up, and he goes, listen, if you want a 1,000 SIM cards, you're going to have to let me know because I only have 2,500, so I'm going to have to put another order in. Now, me and Vin and Shannon are looking at each other like, what? And, and then she's like, Keith, no, we wanted to play a card game. He's like, Shannon. I'm being serious. Like, if you're if you need a thousand, you have to let me know. And I'm like, what the fuck? Because now it's like you're up. Like, was he like, was he delirious? I don't know. Because he would, dude. He was saying weird shit like that, and then he went upstairs to go to the bathroom, and we were laughing about it, and he heard us. And as he's coming back down the stairs, he continued this (laughs) SIM card rant. And we were like, what the fuck is going on? Like, yo, no one's talking about SIM cards. Like, what are you saying? And then, he, and then he was getting mad at us and yelling. And I was like, I'm like, dude, you woke up out of your sleep. Like, and cause he's like, yo, I wasn't drunk. Everyone's saying I'm drunk. He was, bl- he was drunk as shit. Yeah. Yeah. He goes, everyone's saying I'm drunk. And then Shannon goes, no one's saying you're drunk. We were, you were just asleep. So maybe you were dreaming about it. And then he, and then I was like, yeah. And then he looks at me and he goes, Joe, I wasn't asleep. 
I go, Keith, you were asleep for an hour and a half. What the fuck are you what? talking about? Why are people so defensive to just admit that they're sleeping? It's a, This is a huge thing. I don't know. People that... People love to be like, I wasn't sleeping. Yeah. Or like, I even... Per- you were fucking asleep. Who cares? Or I pretend to sleep when people come into rooms. Why? I'm a, th- I'm over- I'm a 28-year-old man. Someone walks into There's- the room and I'm like, oh, why am I doing that? There is nothing I love more than pretending to sleep when somebody walks into a fucking room. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's amazing. Why do we do that? Because I think it's just, we want to put our, our skills to the test. I want to see if this person actually believes I'm asleep. But what do we all want to be fucking spies? Also, another thing that I took pride in when I was a kid is that <laughs> I used to lay my blanket over my bed and try to make people think there was no one in the bed. So I would spread my body out and put my hands and legs in a weird position like this so that the blanket didn't look like just like a person. If you like, So I'll spread out like this. It's like Michael Jordan, that shit. It's like fucking jump man did. Basically, and I still do it. This one time, my sister's hot friend, uh, they all went out uh, to like party or whatever. And uh, I was young. I was maybe like 13, 14 maybe. And I was babysitting and they got home late. And uh, I was I fell asleep with my baby nephew in the bed because it was late. We fell asleep. And I hear them come home and they're like all kind of drunk or whatever. And my sister's friend, she was like, I had to change. Went in the room. I pretended I was sleeping, but I saw her naked. Pack! Ah! Nice. Yep. So bo- got so, to see her naked. Saw so booby. I saw booby, which was cool. And then I just was like, oh, hey, what's up? What's going on? Uh, uh. Saw your tits. <laughs> And she yeah, just another, found out. Another story uh, about babysitting uh, my sister's children. I was babysitting my nephew once. And you know how windows, for some reason, they have to, like, lock in this way at the top? Yes. Didn't. I went to do it. It didn't lock. And it came down, hit me in the face, rendered me unconscious. Rendered me unconscious for I don't know how long, but I woke up with my baby nephew just crawling around. And I had a fucking huge black eye right here. Knocked you out? Knocked me out. I was like 12, 13 years old, dude. This shit fucking slept me. That's fucking hilarious. Like a heavy industrial window of an apartment. Like those things that are made of like metal. Yeah. Like, like, so like, like birds and shit, like don't stand a chance. You can't even shoot a bullet through those fucking windows. Yeah. So I just went up there and the thing went rah! fucking slept you. Yo, slept your boy. Yeah. I've starched me. I don't think I've ever babysat a child. No, no, no. Well, you're going to. Yeah. I'm probably gonna have to babysit a kid. You're going to, I thought you were going to say you've never been starched before. No, I've been starched. I got starched by a fucking, an Asian kid named Richard. <laughs> was this the Asian kid you stole the money from? The Pokemon? No, kid? that was yeah. Alan. Uh, Alan, Asian hey, Alan. First of all, I didn't steal shit. Okay, I did a trade. This was a barter that my mom fucked up. Okay. Your mom fucking the money up. Yeah, bro. yo, my mom's been. F- fuck? My mom's fucking the money up. That to this day, I won't give her a fucking dollar. I'll let her go homeless for that. <laughs> <laughs> fucked up my fifty dollars. Joe, can I? uh have some money i would but that whole thing with Char- charizard and alan i just can't trust you mom i'll let you know this okay that was in um that was 2004 uh so <laughs> 50 dollars there plus the cost of living goes up and if i had that in an interest account you're gonna have to give me 750 dollars <laughs> and we're gonna so, we'll yeah. call it even okay <laughs> yeah 750 call it even I'll, I'll get you your own credit card how's that how's that <laughs> Please tell me how this Asian kid slept you. Uh, it was in middle school, and um, my friend, like I was like a psycho, like back then. Like if my friend was getting into a fight, like I would just jump in and like whatever. And this kid was getting into a fight in the hallway, so I like ran up and I grabbed because he was fighting this other fucking Asian kid. So I, Asian Richard. Oh, they were no. two Asians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you gotta let them settle on their own. No, no, That's no. My my friend, it was this Spanish kid, Anthony. 
Oh, oh, I thought Asian Anthony and Asian Richard were fighting no. for a, for Asian supremacy. No, I would never. You got, I would never get you, in the middle of that. And, in a typical American way, you put your nose in there. No, no, no. That's not what All happened, right. okay? There was some other stuff. Okay, okay. No, I would, okay, I would okay. never stick my nose in that. Uh, okay. But <laughs> never put your nose in Asian business. No, no, no. I didn't know what was going on. I was afraid. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. Him and Anthony, this kid, I forget the other kid's name, but he was, they got into a fight. So I was just trying to break it up. I wasn't even trying to hit anybody. I wasn't trying to do whatever. So I, the Asian kid just happened to be like near me at that point. So I like grabbed him. And when I grabbed him, this kid, Richard fucking socked me, dude. <laughs> and just absolutely like bang and like hit me like perfectly. And, oh. and I just, I just hit the ground. And I just saw like five of my friends jump over my dead body and run after this kid. And I was just like, oh my God, I wasn't even trying to fight anyone. And then he just fucking- Stay out of Asian business. Yeah. <laughs> Similar situation happened Dishonorable. To me. <laughs> just fucking slept. Let them me. handle it themselves. Yeah. Ah. yeah, he killed me. Uh, I have a similar story. I might've told it on the show. I was playing basketball once in a men's basketball league. Uh, I was like maybe 17 or 18 and you know how it is. Like you have like those weekend warriors who were like, let's go baby. Yeah. 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 So I'm like, all right, this is kind of cool. We're playing against this team, with these two brothers on it. Right. And they're known for like being like just annoying as shit and like getting kicked out of games now and then whatever. So I'm on the other team and one of the brothers gets into an argument with one of the guys on my team. Mm-hmm. So they're like, they're going at it and like they're nose to nose. I went to break it up and I'm literally, I opened this to open like, <laughs> yo guys, let's go. And then just a fucking brotherly fist is coming through the middle. So I parted the red sea and that shit closed real fast. When I tell you this guy hit me so hard that when I woke up, I felt like I took a nap for about seven hours. <laughs> just fucking rocked you. Yo fucking rocked me, rocked my shit. And I was like, yo, what the fuck just happened? And they were like, yo, so-and-so fucking hit you. And then I remember I saw the dude like later. He's like, yo, I'm sorry. I thought you were going after my brother. He actually uh, paid for like my hospital stuff um, when I went to get like a scan on my head or whatever. And he was like, yo, I'm really sorry. I was like, yo, bro, don't ever fucking talk to me again. (laughs) You're lucky I don't punch you in your fucking face right now. Uh, Came up to the gym and and then they got suspended from the gym and and then they got that. I was just like, yo, I was like, I appreciate the gesture and, like, the offer. I'm not letting you pay for my shit. Yeah. But he fucking rocked my socks, boy. It was an a- it was an accident. Yeah. If I thought someone I got- was going after one of my brothers, probably do the same. That's what I'm saying. So he was just like, yo, I thought you were, like, going after my brother. I was like, yo, I appreciate your apology, but you fucking punched me in my face, bro. <laughs> I was like, fuck you. I just hate that. In that situation, I was trying to be a piece. This is why I don't fucking do shit anymore. Yeah, I don't break up fights this, like that. No, nah, I'm just going to let people kill each other now. I don't give a fuck. Well, like, when my friends get into fights, I mean, it doesn't happen all the time, but when they do get into fights, like, I can't not do anything, but I'm very cautious about, like, I won't grab anyone else's friend. Like, I'll grab my friends. You know? So it's like, because it, then it looks like I'm trying to help the situation. But if I pull your friend... Then you're thinking like, like if you got into a fight with someone and someone was pulling you, like I'm going to rock that kid. But if he's pulling his friend, right. then I understand like, okay, then I'll pull you, you yeah, know? Yeah, so yeah. I, I'm very cautious about that because dude, also like getting to fights in bars and shit, this shit is just so dangerous. Like you don't know who the fuck has a knife or some shit. Yeah. That's usually how it works. Uh, my dad's cousin died. He was like this fucking amazing athlete and like all this shit. And he was, like, breaking up a fight or some shit, and he got fucking stabbed, and he died. Yeah, it's just like, yo, I'm gonna let one of you motherfuckers die. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Now, if it's chaos, though, I'm, I'm in the chaos. I have no problem at that point. Depends how much chaos. I'm fucking slippery. I could get the fuck out of there, dude. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I just love when we go to a fight anywhere, so I get Joe out of the back. <laughs> I'm like, we'll say, you, guys, you slide out, boss. We'll take care of this. You slide out. And slide out. Slide, we'll slide right out. Slide out. Slide out the back, man. Yeah, there was but, there uh, was one time where, where there was like a fight going on in some like club that were at. It had nothing to do with me and my friends, but they were you could just tell like the ones who were like the psychos 
We're like, all right, the worst. all right, everyone stand behind me in case it comes this way. You have to have two friends that are just willing to die for no reason. <laughs> Yo, you know how hard it would be for me to get into a fight? It would be a very difficult thing. You would literally have to rock me in the face. Even then, I think you might still not... You'd just be like, you're... No. No, if someone hit me, I'd, I'd have to... No, if, they, if they hit you once, you might just be like, what are you talking about? I would only fight if I felt like, oh, there's no other way to get out of this. That's what I'm saying. Like, if a dude just hit you, like, if you're walking somewhere and he, like, just punched you in the back of the head, you'd be like, dude, what are you doing? Mm, I don't know. I would like to see Crazy Joe come out. I would I would eat this person's insides. Huh? I said I would eat this person's entrails. <laughs> entrails. No, I, I don't know. It would be hard. It would be hard for me. A lot of it just like, I don't know. For me, it's like, but if I was walking on the street and someone just like really, if I was walking with Keith and someone shouldered him, like, you know, like you shoulder someone by accident in the street. If it's an accident, yeah. it's an accident. But if it happens... And then you do the look back to say, like, all right, is this guy going to apologize or is he going to say something? Or if he's just going to be like, what? Like, if that happened to me, I'd be like, well, that guy's a loser. But if it happened to someone that I was with, I'd be fucking furious. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I'd be like, oh! Here's your how it goes. I don't, yeah. I just get so fucking mad. I love getting mad. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> all this fucking shit! Dude, there's water everywhere over here, by the way. Remember we were at that Yankee game once and like these dudes like kept saying something. I don't know what they were saying. It wasn't directed at us, but they just kept saying like the same thing over again. I was like, we get it. Shut up. Were you there? Oh no, you weren't there. That was at a Giants game. I yelled at, or was it a Yankee game? There was a woman, or was it a woman or a guy? But they kept screaming and everyone was just getting annoyed. Right. And then they screamed, and then I just stood up and turned around because I didn't know where it was and who was saying it. And I went, shut the fuck up! <laughs> and everyone was dying laughing and clapping. Yeah, you, every, every stadium needs a shut the fuck up guy. You need it because people won't shut the fuck up. They won't. They won't. They'll ruin the, the entire experience. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I just, like, it was probably a Giants game because I cared, like, a lot about it. <laughs> and I was just like, this person is ruining everyone's time. So I just turned yeah, around and like, shut the fuck up! Also, like, giant games are very overpriced. Oh. So it's like, you probably spent a bunch of money to go there. Like, you're not spending money here, these fucking I gotta drive style. 10 hours home now because of the fucking parking uh, lot. Literally, the worst parking lot ever is MetLife Stadium. I don't care what anybody says. Go to a Giants game, say goodbye to your family because you're never gonna see them again. <laughs> That's how fucking bad it is. They should make underground tunnels out of that place. Yeah, you know they should. They should like little like hamster like hamster uh, tunnels. Hamster tunnels. Yeah, you never seen like a hamster with the tunnel. Oh like, yeah. Tunnels, so they're yeah little tubes. You ever think about how stupid a hamster is by running on that wheel? Like, dude, you're going nowhere, you idiot. And you never lose any weight, you fat bitch. Yeah, you're always like a little chunky hairy fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Also, who the fuck has hamsters anymore, bro? If you got hamsters in 2020, that's a that's a no that's a mouse. You're poor, okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, also, if you call it a gerbil, relax. Yeah, <laughs> it's, okay. it's a mouse, okay. dude. Yeah, it's a mouse. <laughs> it's a clean mouse, is what it is. Don't don't say gerbil like it's some fucking imported uh, species. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, this is Come, this is a ferret. No, that's an anorexic raccoon. That's a, that. Okay, <laughs> it's not a ferret. He comes from a bloodline of of royal fucking uh, hamsters. I'm like, it's a fucking hamster. It's a hamster. It wouldn't survive a day out in these streets. Okay. Yeah, one time my friend had a hamster and his name was Henry. And I remember, like, it was cool. Like, he would take the hamster out every once in a while. And I remember he took the hamster out. He was like, yo, this was like maybe like five months after having it. He didn't have it for that long. Oh, I don't no. know how long he had it. So he had the hamster and he takes it out. This little fucking motherfucker named Henry. <laughs> and he puts him on the bed. He's like, yo, watch. Like, it's awesome. Thing has a full blown seizure. So it lays on its it lays on its back. It's having a seizure. It pisses. It shits itself, and we're fucking losing it. 
we're like, oh my god, what's happening? He's like, oh my god, Henry, Henry, and it takes his going like this, fucking shit in his face, in itself, and then yo, it just like came out of it. But yo, for like 15 seconds, we were like, yo, what is fucking <laughs> happening to Henry the Hamster right now? Henry the Hamster had a full blown siege. It's quite a show. And I was like, yo, what? Yeah, he puts it down. He's like, yo, watch. Like, it's cool. And I'm like, all right, this kind of cool. A hamster, not on a wheel, on the loose. Let's see. Full-blown seizure. <laughs> it would be fun at the end. Your boy, yeah. your boy just went, ta-da. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he always does this. <laughs> Typical Henry shit. Hey, uh, Charlie, um pretty sure your hamster has epilepsy just letting you know <laughs> nah, 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 nah. it's a trick <laughs> yo yo look at this trick he does he shakes until he shits his pants watch watch he'll do it he'll do it oh, no no I, he's he's a little shy right now you gotta scream at him <laughs> you gotta flicker the lights at him <laughs> oh my god my face hurts <laughs> yo what do you think's a crazier condition Epilepsy, like the one, like if flashing lights can like make you go, or narcolepsy. Dude, narcolepsy is wild. What the fuck, dude? Just, just out, just sleeping. Doesn't that dude in Sopranos have narcolepsy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he like throws like bread at him and shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Jan- Janice's boyfriend. Yeah. Um. The, yeah, like epilepsy is scarier. I think seizures are so scary. Hell yeah. I, they're one of the, they're mad scary. Like, I don't know, like, re- that much about epilepsy, but I, I've had friends who are epileptic, and that shit is scary as shit. Narcolepsy, to me, though, is just a phenomenon. It's like you just fall asleep, just pass out. Yeah. And it's like, yo, do you take, like, caffeine medicine? Like, what do you do to treat this fucking thing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not about to try and diagnose it. No way. No way. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no way. No, 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 no. I, th- I love how people think we're like MDs. I don't, I'm asking questions. I just want to know if there's anybody out there that has narcolepsy that could reach out to me and tell me what it's like to be a narco. I want to know. <laughs> a narco. That's what narcos is about, right? About narcolepsy. It's exactly what it's about. Uh, Pablo Escobar, uh, he actually, it's called narcos because pa- Pablo Escobar was narcoleptic. Um, yes. And they're actually he had a whole gang of people who are narcoleptic and he was he was through with people making jokes about them So he had a, a violent gang that he you know, and obviously they used uh, the whole gang to smuggle drugs as well That's a whole different side of it. But for the most part that was they were all just that falling, was a front They were all just falling asleep out there. they were all just falling asleep speaking of criminals your boy Takashi 69 got out of jail, huh? It's my boy now <laughs> Got corona. Uh, oh, I got corona. Uh. Yeah, he's now. He's just like he's on house house arrest House arrest. I wonder if he'll use social media. 100. Actually, no, his PO was probably just like, you can't. I read a report that he's allowed to use it, but he's not allowed to troll. But I don't know how you. Uh, well, who's there? Fucking uh, there's a, a troll specialist out there that works for the government? I think he can do whatever the fuck he wants, to be honest with you. But he just can't leave the house. That guy got off pretty nice. Who? Takashi? Him. Yeah. I mean. Do you think that he will release music during the quarantine? <laughs> no. I don't even think he pokes his head out. Like, I don't think he says hi. I don't think he does anything. I think he's over it. I think he just wants to live. Do you think... Oh, man. Now he's on house arrest, but no one's going to go over there? I'd be shook. I'd be fucking terrified, dude. Yeah, dude. I'd be like... <laughs> he's got a... If I was just like his mom, I'd be like, I'm going to go stay at, uh, I'm going to stay at Abuelo's house for yeah, a little bit. For a little little bit till this blows over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Another thing, too, Floyd Mayweather's daughter stabbing people. Yeah, that seemed like a lot. Right? Shouldn't be stabbing, folks. Apparently, this is what happened. She's a, she's engaged to NBA young boy. Engaged? Uh, apparently. Apparently. Okay. Uh, and she came home and he was with somebody else or something. I gotta fix this real quick. What do we got it go on it? Oh uh, no. No, we're good. No, that's fine. Uh, yeah, but like NBA young boy, and uh, who's a rapper? Mm-hmm. Apparently, apparently, um, 
and she came in and was like, hey, this is my fiance. And she was like, get the fuck out. And then the other girl was like, get the fuck out. Then she just started stabbing a bitch. Dude, stabbing someone is one of the most intense fucking acts. 100. I'd, I'd rather be shot. Getting stabbed is like. I feel like you can just watch, like, oh my god, like I'm slowly gonna just watch myself. It's so, die. it's, it's so passionate because like when you stab someone, like initially in movies, they're like, and they're like, and it's like I had to tell you, yeah, this is not personal. And then they stab him again, like double time. They like on the second one, and they're like. They're usually like right in your ear too, and it's like the only times that you're near someone's ear that close is when you're <sighs> fucking, and it's like, and that's when you're gonna say something like, "You like that, you little dirty asshole." And then, <laughs> and then other times when you stab someone, you go, "This is from Mike." <laughs> and then that's <laughs> only two times. And the original, they're always shushing them on the original, like, "Shh, shh, 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 shh just shh, die." <laughs> it's like you knew it had to be this way, brother. Stab him again. <laughs> Yo, you know how inconsiderate it is to stab someone, and when they're trying to like breathe, you're like, "Shh," <laughs> like, "Dude, am I bothering you? You stabbed me. <laughs> the fuck." You're going to shush me? People, people are fucking cu- killing you, and, th- and then they got to shush you on top of that. I'm more mad at the shush than I am at the stab. Listen, if you're going to stab me, that's one thing, but don't dare shush. I'm going to try and fight for my life as loud as I want. Shush me one more time. I I'm going to come and kill you. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking kill I'll you. kill you, buddy. Okay. All right. You shush me one more time. Uh, I'll take this knife yeah. out of me and put it in you. <laughs> It'd be so funny to be like, shh. She's like, no, I'm not going to shush. No, you know what? Actually, you know what? I'm not going to shush. You know what? I'm not going to shush. I'm not, you know what? I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die now. Forget it. I was going to forget it. I was going to go. I was going to die. And you ruined it. And, you, and you've, that's on you. That's not my fault. This is, this is on you. I should be dead. This is on you. <laughs> I'm so fucking over it. No, I'm not going to relax. <laughs> Yo, just relax. No, he shushed me. <laughs> You're bleeding. I don't care. I don't care about that. Shush me. Yeah. Yeah, but don't stab anybody. Yeah, that's that's a word from the wise there. Don't stab anyone. Yeah. Continue to wash also, your hands. Don't go to the Maldives, dog. Oh, yeah, there's people stuck in the Maldives. And how about this? They're the only two people there, and they have to pay a discounted rate to stay there because I guess they're not allowed to leave. I would tell them to suck my fucking balls. Yeah, I'm not paying, okay? No! Yo, I read they have nine waiters every morning. To do what? One's making the toast, the other one's buttering the toast? And they and they spend their days sitting by the... Sitting by the pool and snorkeling. Those are their days. They got Wi-Fi out there? Yeah, they got Wi-Fi out there. Then they got fucking servants. I wonder how much they're paying. The the place was $7.50 a night. Now it's like a heavily discounted rate, though. But they might be there for months. $750? $750 a night was the regular price when they went there on like their pre-engagement party or something. Dude, even if it was $100... Yeah, dude, you're there for like three months. You're going to be fucking bankrupt. The guy's like a a butcher. And his wife's a teacher. Yeah, I don't know about that. Not not exactly caking it. So, like, they're going to be in fucking trouble, dude. They need that stimulus pack. Uh, Actually, they're not American. They're South African. Damn. Well, maybe they'll have a GoFundMe so that these people can continue to have servants in the Maldives. (laughs) Or, yeah, it's like, oh, man, dude, yo, Corona was so bad. We had servants. You can't go anywhere else. I'd be like, is there anywhere else I could go, or am I just locked into this fucking thousands, home. thousands of dollars that I'm paying every month? They can't go back. They can't go back. Apparently. All right, but like, can I would go back? Fuck this. How are you gonna get there? For a scum- fucking plane. You can't. I'll tell you this. I need to get the fuck out of New York. This place is driving me fucking nuts. What? What do you mean? Because every day I think it's like, it's like, oh, here's a Corona by the numbers. 200,000, 7,000, it's 5,000. And then it's like, oh, another 400 people have it in Queens today. I'm like, yeah, I, I, I just had to move here. 
I moved the I moved the Queens becomes the epicenter of sickness, and I'm already a hypochondriac. I'm surprised I haven't fucking gone to the hospital eleven times already. <laughs> so why, honestly? I haven't gone to one doctor. I'm afraid of doctors. That's how fucking hypo I am. I'm afraid of doctors now. Dude, can you imagine, like, right now was when you started having panic attacks? You'd get there, and they'd be like, that's great. Go home. <laughs> Take a bath. Dude. All right? You have a, you have a silly, weird brain. <laughs> Go home and shut up. Light a candle. Take a bath. You'll be all right. All right. Go kiss your dad. All right, all right. It's your 80th EKG of the week. I don't know what to tell you. Your heart's fine. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, what are you feeling? I'm like sore throat. Uh, uh, very anxious. They'd be like, Do you have a sore throat, sir? I'm like, No, I'm just really anxious. They're like, Dude, get the fuck out. Wrong doctor. Get out. Yeah. That's the thing I'm scared of. Is like I. I feel like what we're living in, it's like we got these protective bubbles now, like our houses and shit. But if you go into a hospital, for some reason, I see them all as like lights off, like they're like kind of dark, like a hospital at night. And then you just hear people like, oh, 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 and like nurses are just walking the hallways at all hours of the night and just talking beds everywhere. It's like a fucking scene out of like hotel rwanda where they have all the people in like one room and they're all fucking dying and shit this is what i'm this is what i'm afraid of like these (laughs) these hospitals are probably just stacked to the rafters with covid people they are and that's fucking scary to me yeah i mean it's yo they yo apparently i don't know if this is true i heard this from somebody so don't like whatever Apparently, like, feeding tubes, like, they don't have a lot of them, so, like, they have to, like, switch them mid-meal to, like, feed everybody in some hospitals and shit. Like, I'm good, dog. Yo, I would have to literally have COVID or, like, be, like, shot in the face for me to go to the hospital right now. Yeah. I would have to be, like, Serpico. The only- <laughs> Just a fucking bullet hole in my face and have to go to the fucking hospital. <laughs> I would, uh... The only way I would go... Like for the foreseeable future, is if you can get that antibodies test to see if you had it and it's gone and you're immune now. Yeah, I would love so fucking much to do that. Yeah, if I if I could know that like, oh, you're immune to it, you had it, you didn't, maybe you didn't have symptoms or you whatever, you're good. Because I mean, I feel like I was sick like at some point January February. But yeah, dude, I got sick the moment we got off of the plane. Yeah. And I was with you, and I, yeah, and like I was in Austin at packed bars, and I was sick as shit, which is crazy to think about. Like, how did we not get anything? Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, we probably did. Yeah, dude, one of us probably had that shit. That's what I'm saying. Josh definitely that, had it. My dad definitely yeah, wh- had it. One hundred percent, Josh had it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna ride this fucking train till the wheels fall off. Right. He did that. Would you rather be in a in a car accident or 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 a train derailment? I, I don't know. What do you think's worse, a bad car accident or a train derail? I don't know the stats about trains derailing. I think that's probably the least. I think it's the same thing. It? it probably is the same thing. Probably is the same thing. Where the fuck did my mind just go? I don't know. We're st- I'm starting to get worried about you. What? The, uh, who are you again? I don't know. I'm just a guy who who oompows his dad. Yeah, just oompow your dad right <laughs> in the mouth. Um, yeah, I would not go. I would. I would not go to the hospital. I, I don't know. Even if I like broke my leg, you probably have to go. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> This kid's insane. I am so afraid of anyone that's like, hey, I'm in the medical field. I'm like, get the fuck away from me, sir. Yeah. I've only been seeing people that I that only see me. Have you seen the video of that doctor trying to hold in that cough? That is one of the funniest things I have ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> I love that when he coughs, after he coughs, he's like... <clears throat> he just goes... He's like... <laughs> That video is so fucking good. 
That that video has got me through some long nights. I've watched that video maybe four thousand times. I was laughing so loud. Everyone's like, "What's what? It's so fucking funny." And then you, of course, you play it, and no one finds it funny. But you're like, "Dude, I hate when that happens. It's funny." <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, all right, cool. I think we can wrap it up. Beep. Ventilators. Ventilators. It's very scary. Probably the most <laughs> ventilated you've ever been in your life on this ventilator. And, and, and honestly, they've done a great job ventilating. <laughs> he'll, he'll say shit like things like a TV. He'd be like, TV showed me the sports games. Did a really good job, too. I'm like, it's what it's supposed to do. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yes, like, uh, you know, I love sports. I played sports. Some of the biggest sports. I, I, I think I may have honestly played the biggest sports. And you're like, what? Like, what do you mean? He'll come out. I love how he came out the other Very day. And he's, like, he's like, the economy was booming. Unemployment at its lowest rate. And now it's just stopped. It's like, all right, dude. Like, you're bigging yourself up about a bunch of shit. People are dying out here. Not only that, but he's like, employment, you know, it's one thing he was bragging about employment. yo it is astronomically broken the record <laughs> the unemployment like percent like it's insane dude he's like we were doing pretty good before this i'm like yeah of course we were you can't go outside what are you talking about like, hey man people are dying and the world is closed nothing's going good <laughs> he's like what are you gonna do i'm like yeah man. <laughs> how about this find a i find a superhuman who has a fucking vaccine in their body? Let's get to it. Honestly, win some, lose some. We're definitely <laughs> losing some, but we will win some. And we did win some. We won a lot. Let's just say we did uh, win a we lot. We won a lot. We won a lot. We won a lot, but here's Dr. Fauci. Dr. Fauci. Yeah. Dude, I love when he doesn't know what to say and he just starts pointing at people on the stage and he goes, Hey Mike, do you want to say something? And everyone's like, Sir, we yeah. have a Mr. President, we have a question. He's like, Mike, you want to talk to them real quick? Yeah, he he literally is like a host like a comedy show where like you do like two minutes of material and then bring on just every other comic. Yeah, he's like, here's this guy. Here you go. This guy. Like, this yeah. guy runs Walmart. They're doing great things, big things, huge things. Uh, and you go ahead, go ahead, Mike. It's like, it's like, Mr. President, uh, what are we gonna do about this, Mike? Talk about Walmart, please. <laughs> then I like when they're done. We'll just be like, and you're doing a great job too. Um. <laughs> He's always telling people how good of a job they're doing. It was like a school project. It's like, uh, is anyone else around that wants to say anything? Does anyone have any last words? <laughs> is that it? All right, guys. Thanks. Thanks so much. We'll see you next week. <laughs> we'll, see you, we'll see you next week. You can find me at Dan Lopriori on Instagram and Twitter and uh, Ventilators. And that's it. Stank Podcast. Stank. Uh, YouTube.com. So that's the Stank Podcast. Me and Frankie. Movies, TV, and farts. Uh, you guys can uh, go follow the show at The Basement Yard. Uh, go check out my YouTube channel. I've been dropping shit. YouTube.com slash Joe Santagato. And uh, that is all. Mm-pa!